Uh, well, hello, hello. <laughs> oh, indeed. Welcome. Thank, thank you, you, thank you. Live TV, I don't know if I've ever done that. Yeah, I'm going to say, this might be uh, <laughs> some new ground for Maybe, maybe 25 maybe, years. Maybe a little bit. Well, um, so, welcome to Bill. Thank you so much for making time to come and hang oh, out with well, us. Oh, I'm so excited. This is very cool. This is it's nice. Like, you like this? Lots this happening around here. Hi, everybody. Good morning. Hello, uh, <laughs> everybody. Cool. Be joy. I, um... I'm so excited you're here. I was telling you backstage, I love the book. Uh, such an amazing book. We're going to get into that book well, in a thank second. You. And we're going to talk about uh, uh, all the amazing things you've done. But first and foremost, uh, I love to ask this question just, just to find out, how, how are you? How are you doing? Before we get into any of this, how's Joy? Well, thank you. Nobody, you know, I could use a cup of coffee. No. We can get you that. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm no? No, I've had okay. a couple. <laughs> okay. Never mind. We don't need the coffee. We're good. We're good. I am so Great. I have the release today of Amazing. Inventing Joy. Who would have ever thunk it? Yeah. Right. <laughs> and I've been writing it my whole life, so you know, you yeah. know, it's now it's about time. Well that's <laughs> it's it's exciting. You just had you did the official launch on HSN, right? You did that's that on, right. on the fourth, I believe. Yeah. Right? Somewhere around that's there. That's right. And now today kicks off the bus tour, right? Right. Well, that's right. Yeah. My dream come true going across America in a bus. And I <laughs> know I'm really serious. <laughs> well, I was gonna say, that's funny. Does it not recall like earlier memories of driving the Miracle Mop up and down to every oh, vendor yeah. and, and, and trade show. Demonstrating, and demonstrating it at flea markets it. and everything, right. Well, this is a little bit cooler than yeah. that. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure the bus is a little bit nicer these well, days. Well, you know, so I've been standing in front of America for over 25 years, yeah. every month, every single month. And um, so I'm always in somebody's living room or bedroom. Yeah. I, that doesn't sound so good, does it? <laughs> um, but, <laughs> you know. <laughs> That's the cornerstone of the tour. People don't realize yeah. you're going to houses. <laughs> you are now actually in living right. rooms and bedrooms. But, so <laughs> now, now I actually am going out personally, yeah. and I want to meet everybody. Um, and the book actually is, uh, uh, you know, me saying thank you for letting me come to your home and now come into my living room and let me talk you through to a world of true happiness and success on all levels, I promise. These are the tools in the book. And if I can do it, anybody can do it. And I'm going to second after reading this book that uh, you're the real deal because I think there's a lot of books that come out and, and promise this and offer right. this. But the thing that your book has is the this real world experience, this real life experience that also we all kind of watched in a one way or another because sure. as you cite all these amazing moments, you can go on YouTube and find the original infomercial, <laughs> the original, your first You appearance. can find me in all forms. You can find Even all these before I was things. blonde. <laughs> all of these little nuggets of wisdom that you have that you've peppered throughout the book, which I do want to get to in a second, but you, you know where they come from and yeah. it adds an authenticity and it adds a sense of not only are you telling me I can do this, but I'm seeing how you applied it. Exactly. Real life. Yeah. You know, it's like if you're listening to a professor or a teacher and they say this principle and then all of a sudden they say, let me give you a real life example. And you go, aha. Yeah. So the story, the journey, which is thrilling, it's exciting, it's sexy, it's comedic, it's heartbreaking, it's heartwarming. The sexy part is really true. Um, and That's in there. It's in there. <laughs> and, but through that amazing roller coaster journey and you will think it's fiction it's all true it goes yeah. really where the movie never could go in two and a half hours and um i think everybody has a window into this book and you will realize you will sit back at these light bulb moments and you will say oh that that happens to me or i you know i can do this mm -hmm. Because I want to do this. And it, you will have a, ro a new romance with yourself when you finish this book. I promise you. And everybody sure. around you. For sure. And I, I'm really curious about... So take me back to the beginning, right? You, like you said, you've done this 25 years. You've been doing... Well, there were dinosaurs in there. Okay. <laughs> let's, let's fast forward a notch. Uh, <laughs> uh, the beginning of this book. Right. When you were getting ready to write it or, or yeah. you, you wanted to write it. Why, after all this time, did you decide, I'm ready to write a book. I'm ready to tell this story. Uh, that's a great question. So Thanks. with this amazing, surreal event that happened in my life, the movie Joy, yeah. um, you know... Hey, Joy, I have Jennifer on the phone. She wants to talk to you because she wants to play you in Jennifer a movie. Who, right? Right. <laughs> Jennifer who? Robert who? <laughs> Bradley who? <Yeah>. Oh. <laughs> and um, so that, 
you know, that opened up this whole new arena for me in the sense of people, I, I thought, here I am standing up in front of people and talking about the features and benefits of the products that I design. And never did I realize how much people wanted to know the success story. And when I say success, I mean on all levels, with family, being a single mom, raising children, you know. So the point being is I, I never, I thought all we, you know, I'm talking about is product, I'm about product, I look at the world through product. But they wanted to know that journey. So this is my give back. Truly, from my heart, I want everybody to see that journey, and I was a skinny little girl in a middle class family, and through all that, everybody will see that if you, no matter who you are, everybody's a dreamer, and you can get there. No matter who you are or where you're from, you can change your life, you can change the world. Now, talk to me about uh, the light bulb moments. We've referenced them a couple of times in this conversation already, but people that haven't had a chance to read the book yet, they don't realize that while you're telling your story, I love what you've done here, you emphasize a moment where you like had your light bulb moment, you had right. your lesson. There's right. literally a cute little light bulb, and then you talk about that lesson. With a heart. It was. <laughs> With a heart, yeah. And, and so I'm wondering, was that, was putting the, folding those lessons in, was that always an idea from the beginning, or was the beginning just let me tell my story? Yeah, well, so... It really, what I wanted to do is how many times have we read some books and, you know, the 10 best principles and how to get rich fast or, you know, the, whatever it is. And you're like kind of struggling through it. The story is so amazing. And the lessons learned happened throughout that story so that it just made sense for me to create this page turning story of, you know, that, uh, you know, I've had people say that I literally once I start reading it, I can't put it down. And is that that was a goal, number one, a really good yeah. book that's very interesting and exciting. But through that, those little light bulbs are there because at that moment in my life was this sometimes, many times counterintuitive lesson that normally people say, you know, the opposite, right? You yeah. will f discover so much about this. And then at the end of the book, I put all of those together in the blueprint which is really my blueprint of principles that absolutely are responsible for all my success in life. And I believe anybody else's. Here's the tools and here's the secret where people say, how did you do it? Which I have to say was a nice surprise, uh, I think, for anyone using it as a point of reference, but especially as someone doing research for a conversation. Because I was like, oh, here's another light bulb moment. Here's that page, cliff note part. Page 160, <laughs> light bulb moment. All right, here's another light bulb moment. And then I got to the end, I was like, oh man, they're all right here. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, it was really I nice. should have said cliff notes. Yeah, it was really useful. Um, but I do see the, the practicality of, of why you would want to have that there, even for someone not planning to, like, you know, Well, it's, a, it's really... Like, it's really useful to sure, have. Sure. Yeah. I, I believe this book is a resource that people say yeah. they're reading it for a second and third time because there's so much to absorb. And I even have, you know, a lot of inspirational quotes in there because... You know, who doesn't need to really be, uh, who doesn't need high octane optimism today, right? <laughs> I'm telling you, and this book will give it to you. 100%. Um, I want to ask you uh, 25 some odd years, give or take, of, of launching products and, and successfully launching products. I mean, how has this product been different for you? Well, um, so it, it's very different yeah. because it's really kind of, putting myself out there in yeah. a big way because I do, yeah, I talk about many things and that road to success as, as anybody knows, um, there are really low points and I talk about those. I was a single mom with three little children. I literally started to sweat sometimes when I was like, how am I going to pay this bill and, you know, and what's going to happen to them and, you know, trying to do it all and, you know, really not being able to do it all and then making a decision, you know, in everybody around me thought it was out in left field. I'm going to invent this product. I'm yeah. fine. You know, so it was, so the book really, I think, is so real in Every, well, every aspect, but it's such, it has a touch point, so many touch points for everybody. Everybody, you know, who doesn't sit there and say, you know, I really want to do this, or I should have done that. I would, and I have this great idea, and if, if, I'll, if only. And this book literally gets you off the chair and 
puts that first foot in front. Because if you don't put that first foot in front, you'll be saying that for the rest of your life. And you don't need to. You really don't need to. Failure is okay. If you try it and fail, it's okay you tried it. But, you know, if you don't keep moving forward, and it, it's just so important. And to that point, it's not obscure to shift your path. That's all I ever did in life yeah. was shift my path and follow that path. Pivoting. Exactly. Keep pivoting is pivoting. another way to say it. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, one of the things that I do love about the book is that it's very easy, especially kind of to touch on what I said earlier, that we've all seen this journey over the years. We've seen the infomercials and we've seen you on TV. When you and, couldn't sleep at night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but to, to only know that side of it, it's easy. And I think this happens a lot of times where people go, oh, I could have thought of that. All she did was think of a mop. And now she and it's like if you read the story and you know the true tale, anything that could have gone wrong went wrong. Oh, and sure. you had to find a way around it. You had to figure out. <laughs> How to how to make that wrong work in your benefit, and it's incredible. And that happens with almost every product that there's some kind of roadblock, and you figure out a way around it. Right. Even with the hangers, when the flocking, and all this sort of right. stuff. Who wants a hanger? We get them for free. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. There's always something that's telling you not to do it, and yeah. I love your resolve that you always say, "Well, I'm going to do it. I'm going to figure it out." Right. Now you're on the other side of it, right? You've you've done all that. You've been successful. But you know it works. To that point. To that go point. On, I, you know, big point is in the book is a no is not a no. Yeah. I literally, one of, all my greatest successes came at some point there, there was a no. No, we, you can't sell a $20 mop. Nobody wants a self-ringing mop, right? Nobody wants a velvety hanger. No, you know, exactly. So it really, I say in one of the things I talk about, which is very counterintuitive, a no is a starting point. It's a beginning for you to reflect and say, how do I turn that into a yes? Well, here's, here's the I'm question. Sorry, did I no, interrupt okay. you? I, uh, I was <laughs> rambling. It's quite all right. Here's the question at the end of all of that, uh, of my preamble there. Uh, for some people, going back and, and recalling moments of difficulty or, or, or failure, it can be uh, almost to relive the trauma. But you knowing that you've turned them all into a success, was it different for you? When you go back and you look at these difficult moments, do you almost remember them fondly? Because when you see a difficult moment, you remember the way you got out of it. At, well... I'm going to tell you that I remember a difficult moment as a difficult moment. <laughs> but the point being is that we all have obstacles. We all do. And those failures, those obstacles, really are part of that path in life. And to absorb them and analyze them and move forward with them, you have to keep moving forward. And for me where there was a failure or where there was an obstacle, I was like, how do I go over it? How do I go under it? Or to the left or the, to the right? And that's the point, and I talk about it a lot, that everyone, if you are stuck or if there are obstacles, there is always, 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 always another way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, that's, that's, that's very fascinating because I, I, I wonder, like someone who's achieved such a, an incredible level of success, if that success alters your perspective on those difficult times. But what you're saying is just you embrace all of it. It's all yeah. part of the story. Well, it all goes in the right. mix. Yeah. Right. It really doesn't. It just, you know, maybe, maybe I have to say in all honesty, I'm, I might be less fearful, but that little voice mm -hmm. still comes up. I still, no matter what, even, even if, you know, what, a billion huggable hangers later, you'll see me on TV next, you know, the end of the month, and I'll still be like, sh so nervous, will this sell? Yeah. You know, so, that's you know, you can't get rid of that. It's, you know, it's, it's, it's just part of who we are. And that's why we have to tamp that down, yeah. hold it back and say, I'm moving forward. That's, that's a really interesting point, though, that even at your level, that little bit, it's universal. It never yeah, goes away. Of course. You never stop of course. being afraid. Um, I want to transition just because we you do talk about the movie in the book and you talk about how surreal it was and how incredible a moment it was and like getting those phone calls. And I'm curious about, did you know going in that night, you're sitting down in the theater, are you aware at that point of how much your story has been uh, dramatized and how much has been modified? Are you nervous about that? Are you nervous about how people are going to interpret it? Because it makes for a hell of a movie. And you read the book and a lot of fun stuff is finding the overlaps because some of the crazier stuff is the true stuff, which right. is pretty nuts. But he definitely, and he told you flat up in the beginning, I'm going to take some liberties. I'm telling a story. Right. It's going to be 50-50. I'm wondering how you felt going into right. that moment. 
Well, in all honesty, yes, there's that creative side. I didn't really jump into a soap opera, but um, but other than that, the movie is Don't. very right. <laughs> Darn, um, I'm not that inventive. <laughs> um, the movie is very true to form, and there someday somebody's gonna you know write do uh, a college study on it because there are things in the movie that I know David O. Russell. He's so brilliant. Took away. There's music in the background that yeah. was part of my life. Little my products that never I never did anything thing with he did it really was very right on um and so i actually through talking to him for hundreds of hours you know i i make a decision in life you know do i trust this person because yeah. the movie came to me i didn't look for it and right. i never out and i never thought it was going to happen yeah. anyway oh yeah who's on the phone exactly. oh come on um so nonetheless i of course nervous because i didn't you know, who I was for so long, all about product and, you know, all that I did, I didn't want, I guess, anybody to view me as anything other than that in this yeah. celebrity form, right? right? That's probably what I was a little nervous about, you know, because I trusted the story was going to be um, in very good hands with Jennifer and Robert and Bradley <laughs> yeah. and, you know. A little unknown name. Diane uh, Lane Robert and there. Isabella Rossellini. I mean, you know, these yeah. are... It was incredible. It was just incredible. And if you haven't seen the movie, Joy, you must. Oh, and, it's so good. And the book takes you even further, way it really, further. It really does, yeah. <laughs> um, but oh, what was I going to ask you? Oh, right. It's, it's fascinating, though, because for the first time with that film, you become the product. Right, like that's yeah. the first time you're front and center. Yeah. Now it's a, it's, it's literally, it's called joy. You're yeah. on the marquee. I know. Well, no, it was cute. I'll tell you a little story that I probably haven't ever told. It's oh. like so, <laughs> so I'm like, well, David, just out of curiosity, you know, I don't want to be nosy or anything, but what do you, you know, what are you gonna call the movie? He's like, are you kidding? <laughs> With a name like Joy, and we're going to release it on Christmas, it's Joy. <laughs> right so, itself. There you go. Right there. there you go. <laughs> That's amazing. Was there was there any moment? Uh, because I know they they don't film. They didn't film in Long Island. I think they filmed throughout Boston. Yes, Hunter right. And in all eight that. feet of snow. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But was there a, a sort of a moment or a scene where, even though it was dramatized, it really did? You go, wow, he nailed that moment. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. You don't even know this, and you're asking. You're, you're he's brilliant. Oh, I'm stop. telling you, you have Thank a career. You, you have a career honor. in this. <laughs> well, I'll consider it. I'll consider it. Uh. Well, you know, um, in the movie when J uh, Jennifer is standing on that circular stage at QVC, yeah. and you know, it's like, go ahead, here you are. Here's a mom from Joy from Long Island. I literally, it was as if I. We were, you said something similar to today before. It was like my whole self went back into that time oh, yeah. where I was standing there. Because remember, I'm thinking I'm selling mops in Kmart. No, yeah. but I never had a vision of me standing on stage in front of mil, 100 million homes. I mean, I cut public speaking in college, you know. As a, <laughs> so I'm like, you know, somebody got me oh, back man. here. And it, it was... It was at, even as surreal as the movie, right? Yeah. And I, it just took me right back there. And she did such a great job. He did such a great job with that scene. And of course, you, you know, you would think at that moment that it sells out, the mob sells, and that yeah. success is just unabounding. Right. That was just, and in the book, really takes you there. I mean, that was the beginning of this roller coaster of amazing, like nobody would believe what you go through yeah. to get what the I went through to get turns, back on stage. To, like, right, exactly. Things you had to overcome and figure Gangsters out. Gangsters included. Oh you know, God. we didn't miss a trick here. It was unbelievable. <laughs> and I do remember the first time when I was watching that movie, uh, in that moment when the number is climbing and climbing, I was sitting there thinking, like, I was like almost overwhelmed. I was like, she did it. She yeah. solved all of her problems. Right. The mortgage, everything. The That's kids it. are going to go be off fine. in the sunset. And it's like, oh, there's another 45 <laughs> minutes of movie. Uh-oh. <laughs> what the heck is What's he going to do now? Yeah, now what happens? <laughs> do they not mop up the way she said they? No, they do. Okay, and it's just like all these things are going through, and you can't you can't even fathom like where the story goes. Um, I'm made of questions, but regrettably, I got to turn to the audience. No uh, offense, no. I just I, how many times <laughs> do you get this opportunity? Uh, so we have some microphones. We're going to take some questions from the room. Uh, our first one is coming from right here. Here we are. Hi, Joy. Thank you for being here. Hi. Um, so I'm interested to hear from you because I feel like everyone's answer on this is a little bit different. Um, how would you define creativity? Oh my goodness. Well, I think creativity is anything 
that you are passionate about, that you can follow through with and make real. And that passion is the key there. And it doesn't, it's just making it real, making it happen is the end result of that creativity. Very nice. Can I say something? I thought she was going to say success because everyone says, how do you define yeah, success? Right. I didn't see that coming. That was yeah, a great question. Yeah. Uh, next question. How was the answer? Was is going to come. Oh, answer was. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk for 20 minutes about how amazing the book is. You're going you're gonna to pin me down on the answer thing? <laughs> the answer was fantastic. Thank Joy you, as thank well. You. Yeah, you did, okay. pretty, you did pretty good. You did pretty good. Next uh, question. Let's see. Next better. question, please. I'll try harder. <laughs> Hello, Joy. Hi. Uh, I have a question. Uh, for, well, first, I want to say thank you for being inspirational and uh, innovative uh, as a successful entrepreneur. Uh, mm. And then I have two questions. One, I would like to know, what advice would you give a, a new entrepreneur, your best advice you can give? And then the second, um, how essential is it to have a pattern on your intellectual product? Okay. Because I know you, you, you face difficulties okay. with that. Okay, I can tell you have an idea. I can tell you have a product. <laughs> yeah. So the advice I'd give to a new entrepreneur, today is a different day when I started. There is so much out there you have no idea. So the first thing you're going to do is research who is supporting entrepreneurs. Um, there are companies, even at HSM, we have something called American Dreams, where we're looking to discover any great product. There is the Joy Mangano Foundation, where we want to just build those American dreams. I've partnered with a, uh, a charity called Rising Tide. They actually connect entrepreneurs with financial companies. They have curriculum. They, there's just so much out there. Big, large companies that are very philanthropic for entrepreneurship. So first, you should see what's available that might help you. Um, the second question, and I say go for it, no matter what. No matter what. Those no's, just go through them. Plow them down. Um, and then the other question about patents and trademarks. So it is a different day today as well. Um, there are businesses that look to reverse engineer anything. So I think where, you know, there, every product is different, and, um, and a product could be a bakery. So you wouldn't patent that. You'd trademark the name, right? So certain things I have patents on and certain things, when I say Miracle Mop, you know Miracle Mop, right? Yeah. You know, so it's in the branding, in the name. So before, and people think, oh my God, I'm going to make a product, I have to get a patent, it's going to cost me so much money. None of the above, really. You look into that one step at a time and get advice on that, because there are certain things that I would tell somebody, you don't need a patent, but you need a strong name. Or you definitely need a patent, because this is easy to patent, and it'll protect you in every way. So it depends on a product. So yeah. that's my answer. I hope that helped you. Two good questions. You're going to be a good businessman. <laughs> Two phenomenal answers. Oh, thank, you thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you. That's what I'm Can here I, for. <laughs> Can I ask you a question? And this might be difficult to answer, but you raise a great point of that. We're in, uh, in a different time now than when you were inventing. Yes. Has it uh, gotten increasingly difficult with the internet, with such a free exchange of ideas, with so many people being able to share their idea? Has it gotten harder to find those little problems to solve that you once you spotted them all over? And they would come to you in these moments of epiphany. But is it is it increasingly difficult because someone's either solved it or there's just so much going well, on? Well, I think there are, you know, obviously with the internet and social, everything that's going on, I see so many great things, right? Yeah. But there is an endless mind of ideas here that I can't get to fast enough. So that answer actually should tell everybody something. You, when you think, oh, it's the year 2017, somebody must have thought of this already. Yeah. I cannot tell you how many times that I come up with something and I'm like, we, ha I gotta, I gotta, how did nobody think of this before? Yeah. And a lot of times, nobody thought of it before. So even the smallest idea, even the smallest concept, and when I say product, everything's a product. Yeah. It doesn't matter if it's a physical product or it's a service, or it's an app, or it's a, or it's a, as I said, a bakery, or it does, everything's a product. Yeah. Thank you. Did I answer your question? You did. Okay. Yeah. And really, uh, really good answer. Good. Really good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Matt. Uh, I try. We I have try. we have one more question. We're going to go to right here. Hi. Hi. Um, I was wondering 
as an inventor, you probably spend a lot of time workshopping your ideas and thinking. So I was wondering where you do your best thinking. And I was also wondering how you know your idea is a winner, because you mentioned that sometimes you, you're not sure that it's going to be successful, even when you've um, gone through the whole process. Right. So best thinking everywhere. I mean, it literally, I can, you know, I can be somewhere and somebody is, uh, you know, in s North Carolina and they're like, what do you think of this, Joy? And it's a PVC pipe with a golf ball and a peg. And, you know, I'm like, I don't, what can I, I don't know. It's nice. Thank you. Goodbye. And there I am on the plane. Um, <laughs> you didn't like golf ball no, pipe yeah, peg? You didn't like that? Like, That's okay. going to sweep the nation. Yeah, People there you gonna... go. <laughs> well, so I'm on the plane and I'm sitting there and I'm sitting there and it's like, it is, I saw it now. Meanwhile, I saw like a hundred products that day. A hundred, yeah, okay. and this little golf ball and a peg and a, and a PVC pipe is sticking in my brain, and I'm thinking, there's something to this. Well, P.S. I'm going to make a very long story short. I just launched last year something called the Spinball Wheel on Luggage, and it is a low-profile wheel that turns so that, because 90, over 90% of we, luggage damage is, are the wheels breaking, the three C, and it gives you 20% more packing space and it doesn't wear out and bop, 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 bop. And so from that, you know, anything. So, and inspiration can come in the middle of the night or I see somebody struggling and I'm like, there's gotta be a better way to, as opposed to pulling out your ironing board and iron, let, let, me, let me create a steamer. So it's everywhere, it's life. It's making life a little bit easier for everybody. And then how do you know your idea is a winner? Well, I say to your, the best of your ability, you, if your instincts have proven true to you, trust your instincts, even if everybody around you says no, 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 you, have, you owe it to yourself to try. And, Cause you never ever know. And failing's okay, it's okay as long as you tried. So, um, and you know, maybe if there's somebody you really trust, I would have a conversation. You know, it's not like you have to, you know, put yourself within and not listen to anybody because now I surround myself with so many light, bright, smart people, I still don't listen to them. No, <laughs> I'm only kidding, I'm only kidding. Did I answer your question? Okay. Very well done. Doc, I thank do, you Matt. so much for the question. You, you crushed it. You I should, crushed it? You, you should consider doing this professionally. I'm going to tell you right now. Oh, I would give a lot of thought you. to it. Well, I'll ask you one last answer. silly question. You ever watch Shark Tank? Because I feel like if you did, it'd be like Michael Jordan watching the game. Do you know what I mean? Just like you see the ins and outs. Well, they asked me a long time ago. Did but they, they were, Yeah, yeah. But did there was this kind of thing, this movie thing going on. Yeah. And, and um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, so it's. Every once in a while you catch it? You yeah. Know, it's okay. oh, he doesn't I, know I'm not responding. Yeah, it's, it's, it's great. I think anything, any platform yeah. is really good to have anybody with ideas and inspiration to get that up front and out there. So I think it's wonderful. Cool. Very, very silly question, but thank you for answering it. No, it's not silly uh, at all. <laughs> but that's your last question. No. no, no, no. I'm, cut, I'm cutting it off. Uh, like I said, and as I've proved, I think I could do this all day, but uh, you got Aww. a ton of stuff to do. You got to get on that bus. You got a bunch of appearances. Where are you going to be that's tonight? Good. I'm going to be at Bed Bath & Beyond. That's right. 6 p.m., I believe. Sunset Park at 6 p.m. in Brooklyn, where I was born. Ooh. Yeah! <laughs> And, and then, where's this and I'm so excited done? to be there on the release date of the book, Inventing Joy. Inventing Can you Joy. believe it? It's here. Unbelievable. After, you know, 60 years. <laughs> well, it's an, it's an amazing book. Is there an audio book? Did you do one yet or no? I did. You did? I did it. You read it? I did it. Uh, I did it. All right. It so. was an experience. Let me tell you. It was a life-altering experience. All right, hey, 300 go, pages. Tell me about the, what was... What, what? Well, you think you're going to just keep talking. I mean, yeah. I'm used to live TV, and they say... You know, I have to talk for three hours, right? Yeah. So your talk, your your throat starts to close, and it, it was. But then, you know, you kind of get in a rhythm, and with the ups and downs, and I'm crying as I'm reading, I'm laughing as I'm reading. So actually, the audio, you really, for those of you who like to hear, you know, listen to a book that way is kind of pretty cool. You definitely will think I'm sitting next to you on an airplane. <laughs> <laughs> very, very cool. All right, now I'm going to let you go. And Venting Joy is available Thank everywhere. Uh, there's an audio book. You should listen to it. Uh, and every great thing that Joy does. Guys, join me so much. And thank, Thank enjoy you. Enjoy my for being here. Thank you. You're awesome. Awesome.